I'm Chris, 47 nearly, club runner, and I've had a fantastic week. An actual breakthrough in my hamstring injury um, this week has gone really well, and the training's slowly getting to where I want it to be, especially for this marathon training. So let's crack on with the week. But before we do, you probably noticed the title change. Initially, this was supposed to be the sub three hour marathon attempt and then it was kind of injury to marathon. So now I've moved it to the sub 310 attempt. And the reason I put it for that is that that's the qualifying time for my age group, 45 to 50. When it next year, if it's April or the October, I'll be 47 or 48. So it'd be nice to get the qualifying time on that one. Well, I can't even talk on that one. This week, as you know, on Sunday, it was my first longish run. It was only 10 miles. I managed to run it at 7.08 pace, which was a cracking pace dependent on my fitness, and I was chuffed with that. So kind of, I don't know if it's for me to say if that's a cracking pace, but we just did. So on the Monday, it was always gonna be either a day off or a recovery run, because it's important that you get those recovery runs in to avoid injury and to not overtrain. So that was just four and a half miles, very gentle, not worrying about pace, because I think sometimes we can get caught up on pace, but just taking it easy and comfortable. Then Tuesday, wasn't 100% sure how I was gonna feel after that, the, after the Sunday's run and taking the, uh, the Monday as an easy day. So just went off, reasonable pace, uh, it's about 7.30, 7.25, and it felt good. So I kind of carried on the pace to around about 6.54, 6.55, and then slowly dropped that to 6.40 I believe and end up doing five miles so I was really pleased with the kind of pace there. That then took me on to Wednesday and so do I take a recovery day which I've already taken or what I like to do is to run on tired legs so I thought to myself get myself out on a longish run which turned out to be about nine miles and I was wearing my Aeroflex Aftershock headphones and listening to the Rolling Stones so just chugging along at a pace which I find comfortable style rise to run which is about 7.45 to 8 minute mile in and then at 5 miles it's always the way furthest point from home and I was like not really enjoying this now um, I don't know if maybe it was too hot my energy levels had dropped it was a bit dehydrated just about feel my hamstring and knew that I was you know five miles still to go or it turned out to be only be four and a half and so chugged along for the next mile and then thought I try and listen, listen to something different. So I put 30 Seconds to Mars, Kings and Queens, real upbeat tune, high beat, and then the pace just dropped off. I mean, I was running just over seven minute mile in, and then I thought, you know, I need to slow down. It's not the idea of this run, but it just shows what headphones can do. And then back to listen to the Rolling Stones. I think the battery ran out of my phone, and then I obviously got home. So Thursday was a day off um, after having the harder session on the Tuesday and then the longish run on the Wednesday I just kind of listened to my body so I thought let's just take a day off because you know I, I'm not out the woods 100% my hamstring but you know it's been a massive improvement this week that I can only start feeling it after a certain amount of miles or a certain pace so today back out just taking it nice and easy four-ish miles uh, mileage is now around about 25 for the week and I've progressed over the past few weeks pretty well. So I've gone from 0, 12, 20, 29, and then probably end on around about 35 for this week, maybe slightly higher. Still, I'm in an hour in. I don't know why I'm doing that because I'm not juggling. I'm in an hour in whether I'm going to do park run tomorrow. Um, it'd be nice to get there to see if I've got sub 20 in the legs, but is it going to be too much for hamstring? So I might today just test out a few paces to see if it, my hamstring can handle that because I don't want to injure myself considering obviously London's coming up. So let's roll on tomorrow. So back at Brooklyn's park run, I thought to myself, you know, why not? I was having an hour in yesterday whether to come or not, but we're here now. And so what's the plan today? Well, the plan is hopefully to run a sub 20 minute. You're probably asking, what's your PB? Well, my PB is 17.56, I think, but with this hamstring injury and only been running for four weeks who knows so the course here is actually on the b course which is actually slightly longer at 3.2 3.3 and the reason for that is obviously covid 
with restrictions and also they didn't want people beating their PBs on the B course they want to keep it on the A course which I suppose makes sense anyway I'm gonna go and warm up and let's see how we get on So park run done, mission accomplished, 1923, really chuffed with that, wasn't sure what I had in the bank, I wasn't even sure I could run sub 20 or how my hamstring was going to hold up but held up pretty well, got to wear my new Tempo Next Percent that I got in the sale which I'm going to wear for London but I had to wear them because they're nearly up to their 60 day return so I want to make sure they're all right as you do and think about just went off a little quick, um, second mile kind of just stuck with it and then the last mile didn't give it a hundred percent but you know enough not to cause my hamstring any issues because when fatigue sets in then obviously we know that's when uh, injuries can, can come so I stopped the watch um, before the finish line at the 5k because I asked the race director and he said yeah it's about 3.2 3.3 so really tough going forward it means I can take that forward into my longer runs kind of the pace slightly because I do going forward need to concentrate more on longer runs rather than these kind of shorter runs seeing as I've got to run 26 miles and I've only done 10 miles already so great news I'm not 100% sure what I do tomorrow but really excited 